welcome to episode 3 of the Speedway career mode of season 3. We're going to load in here. We've won the first two meetings. We're in Prague for meeting number 3 of the season. We can't upgrade our engine yet, so we're just going to have to repair it on up. The clutch could improve the clutch, but I want to focus on the engine first. Buy the two tyres. We're going to buy a new frame. Buy a bit of engine oil. And then I think if we win this meeting, we can get a new engine. So we're going to come into this meeting. Top of the table by nine points. Two bar smash look. Looking to win the Czech Grand Prix. As we are going to be in heat number one, heat number two, sorry. Heat number one is a massive heat. Look at the names in this. Holder, Smart Slick, Dudek and Madsen. Do we watch the first heat of the night? Go on, we'll, we'll have a watch. We'll, see, we'll, we'll have a look for the driving lines. For what's best. I reckon Madsen gates them and wins it. And we're going to sit on board. Hopefully our Madsen. As the tapes rise, no, it's Smart Slick who gets the gate, and Madsen's in the wall. Madsen so nearly falls off the bike there, and he's miles behind. As we try and find camera angle number nine, and Smart Slick looks like he's going to go ahead and win this, and Madsen came back through. I should have watched that the whole way through. Look at how close these all were at the end. Madsen came back through after being facing in the wall. That. That sounds like it would have been amazing. But we're now going to come out in heat number two. And look to get an early early win. Wuffenden in red, Doyle in blue, Mickelson, Mickelson in white, and Dan Bewley on the outside of the gate that has just won. The track looks very nice, looks very sunny. Marshall walks through. The tapes rise and we get the best gate. We look to see if we can get out in front of Mickelson. Mickelson centre for inside. We repay the favour through turn two. We're going to sit in the middle of the track. Dangerous for some, but we get the kick off away from Mickelson just as he's approaching the back of our bike. Now we're going to hold the inside as we're going to look behind us. It looks like we've built up a big gap already, and we have. We are clear in this first race. We just look and try and explore the track really. To try and find the best point to turn in the different corners to keep the momentum. And now we're going to just send it deep around the outside. Gets a good push from the corner there. We're going to keep it in deep. And we're going to win! The first heat of the meeting. Well, our first heat of the meeting. Nearly a new record time there, but it was close. And this is a big heat. Mickle. Ah, not Mickelson, he's not in it at all. Frickin' red, holder in blue. Me in white, and Lambert in yellow. So Frick's on three, holder is on two, I'm on three, and Lambert is on one. Track has just been grained. I think we're gonna slightly change up the setup. We're gonna change it up. We're gonna have less tire pressure and a lower ratio for gears. Just just to try and find a way to fly around this track. If we find it, we will win the meeting. We get away from the tapes well, we get past Lambert, we get met by Holder into turn one. We're going to go up the inside of those two. As now it's us versus Holder. Going to go up the inside of Holder and what a move that is there for us. We get, we hit the front and get real time to try out this new 
engine, not this new engine, the new setup for this meter. As now we're going through it here, we get it, we're building the gap to hold it. We go deep, we get the get the grip. As we're going to carry on around here, we're going to take the inside on turn two. And we are flying around now. Hook the inside through turn four. We're going to beat Jack Holder to the line. A little bit slower than the lap before that. As we now head into heat number 10, where we face off against Bartosz Schmarczlik. The man who was in second in the title, but has two points from two rides. He might not make the semi-final here. Heading into heat number 10. And do I change it up again? I'm going to look to change it up. Just try and explore the different things we can get done here. We're off blue. Wild card off red. I'm off blue. Yunofsky off white. And Bartosz Schmarczlik on the outside. Yunofsky is realistically the biggest challenge we've got around this track. So we're going to look to come straight across the two Polish lads on the outside. And we get the worst start, but we're able to come up the inside of the wild card, who's obviously because he's an amateur gives us the room. And we're going to lead the first lap here. Schmarts to get in the back again. I don't know why, but the bike feels really unstable. It feels like it's just sliding. That's I do say that because look how close the other riders are behind, so. And we've gone very close there, and I thought we were destined to be excluded there. We get to the final lap, we're going to look to find the outside, and here comes the wild card. Comes up our inside there, uh, looking for the move. We are going to win, but I really didn't like the setup on that race. As you can tell there by the fact we are three seconds slower. Well, we're two seconds slower than the last lap. That's heat. But Schmarchdick gets a big win in his fourth race. But he 15, you got Lingen in red, Dudek in blue, Thompson in white, and me on the outside. And we very much need to find something that clicks now because it was all right in the first two heats and we've gone way off it on two and three. We're still getting the wins, but we're in our third race. We were well off it. We got, we, got, we got the win, but it just didn't feel good. So hopefully with that slight change, we can get the best of Linger and Dudek and Thompson in heat 15. Tapes rise and we get a beautiful gate. We look to hit the front. Linger was there, forces us out wide. Dudek and Linger are on the inside. We get past Linger. We're going to look round the outside of Dudek. Lingren's still there on the inside. We get round Lingren and Dudek, which tyre was just in the right place to block us off. We go for the switchback. We get up the inside of Patrick Dudek. As now we're going to head around to try and find the outside line, which we do, and then we nearly drive into the wall and fall off, but we found the outside line now. We should be able to just shoot away. As we clip. Dirt. Fly around now. This is a big comeback by victory margins compared to the last race that we were in. As we just were able to win the last race. But this one, we've won it quite comfortably. Still with the same sort of time though. Only a second faster. It felt a lot better. But we're now out. Smart Stick is going to make it through after getting two from his first two. He's got seven from his next three. Us and Madsen, the top two and three in this one. Will anybody else can make a difference? If the man in white wins, he will go into the semi finals. I don't think the what. Well, said the what. Vashlik, uh, where is he? 14th. He cannot get in. Only. The man in white can get into the final, or in the semi-finals. That's not me and Madsen. 
I'm going to slightly change it up. Not, nothing massive. Just a few clicks on tire pressure. A few clicks on the gear ratio. We're on the out. We're on the inside. Madsen on the outside. You got Vasilik in blue and Plitsky in white. A good gate here, and the and heat 20 should be all but over. And a good gate is what we get, and we take the inside. We can go into the middle of the track, get rid of any danger of anyone coming up or inside, around or outside, because we just were there in the middle, stopping anyone getting past. As we're now leading through turn one and two on lap two, we're going to hold it close. And Madsen, it looks like this will now just be to the line due to all the gap. Look at the gaps they're building up here. And I'm going to try and find a way into the dirt. There we go. We get the dirt. You can see by the sort of speed boost we get. As the engine's going a bit dodgy there. The engine does not like going out into the dirt like that. So we're now just going to cut back to the inside. Yeah, there's big gaps forming now. As long as we stay on the bike through these last two turns and the engine stays running. As it does, we are going to win heat 20 and get first pick in the semi-finals first pick in the semi-final one this is a very packed semi-final we got me as Wuffenden, Smartslick, Yunofsky and Mickelson big and we're going to go off white I don't know what's the best white we've picked the worst gate we have picked the worst gate to go off for this semi-final after getting first pick. So this is going to be very interesting to what we can get from it. You've got Yunofsky in red, Mickelson in blue, me in white and Bartosz Schmarczlik on the outside in yellow. For semi-final, number one, can we go back to back to back in winning Grand Prix? We get a great start, but so does Mickelson. Mickelson's there. We go across the front of him. Mr. Mickelson and Yunofsky's hit us. We've kept on the bike. Brilliant ride in there. And Yunofsky's still on our inside, but we go, up the, we go around the outside of him. We switch back up the inside of Mickelson. Mickelson's got a lot of room to come back and put on the inside there, and he does. And we're side by side now. I'm going to head high and wide. Yunofsky's there. Smart slick at the back. I don't want to look back to see how far behind he is because he could come flying through. We get up the inside of Mickelson and now we're going to check and Barsh Marshik is absolutely miles behind. Barsh Marshik is not going to get into the grand final but it looks like we're going to make our third final. And we are we going to be the only rider that's made each final so far this season? As we head now through the final two laps, is it going to be me and Mickelson making the final? It looks like it is. Barsh Marshik not even in the picture. There he is just going through turn three. But we're going to win semi-final number one. And I think we're going to get the first pick of the final. And I think we are going to pick white again. We're going to watch semi-final number two here. You've got Madsen in red, Frick in blue, Dudek in white, and Holder on the outside in yellow. We're going to... We're just going to see the gates and then we're going to go straight into the final and see what happens. Just going to see what happens from the gate. My money would be on Dudek. Who gets the worst gate and it looks like it's going to be Madsen and Frick that are going to come through. It's Madsen and Holder. Frick was at the back. So now we're heading into the grand final here. Can we go 3-3? We're going to take gate white again. It worked so well for us the last race. We might as well go for it again. And here we go. Into the grand final. Holder in red. Mickelson in blue. Me in white. And Madsen on the outside in yellow. Can we go undefeated again for the second time this season? And win our third final in a row. Everyone up to the tapes. The marshal walks through. The tapes rise for a final time in this Grand Prix. We don't get the best start. We look to turn back. Mickelson's on our bike. Holders leading. Mickelson, in, me in second. Mickelson in third. And Madsen at the back. We get up the inside of Holder with a bit of pushing. 
we are ahead. Can we go for our third meeting in a row? We're going to hold the inside line. We're starting to pull a gap on them now. We're going to go through turn three and four. The inside is not the best place to be. You want to be on the outside, which is where Jack Holder is going. We will need to potentially cover him off on the last lap because he is flying around the outside. As we're now going to go to the middle of the track and hope that Holder just doesn't have enough speed to get around the outside. We're going to hold the middle of the track as we're going to go down the back straight and we've pulled the gap on Jack Holder now. We're going to go very close to the inside. He hasn't got the pace to get around us. It's going to be three wins from three as we have won every possible meeting that we can so far. We won in Poland, we won in Finland and we've won in Prague. We've gone undefeated in Prague. And what I mean, that was. And next up, we head to the Adrian Flux Arena, or the Principality, for Cardiff, for the home Grand Prix. Will we make it four wins from a possible four? Find out in the next video.